name is Apple from Adventure Away, and this is How to Play. And today we're going to learn how to play Hues and Cues, the guessing game of colors and clues by the OP Games. This game is for three to 10 players, ages eight and up, and takes about 30 minutes to play. You wanna start with putting out your board on the table. You're gonna find four little pieces that you're going to assemble into a square pattern inside your box. We'll come back to that in a second. To start with, you choose a color. When you choose your color, keep two of the small cones and indicators for your guessing and place one cone on the edge of the board next to the gray palette at the top of the board to indicate your scoring. The person who will go first is the person wearing the brightest colors. They will choose a car and they will see four different colors on that car. You're going to choose a color that you think that you can describe to the other players of the game. If I chose this color here, I would give a one word clue to describe this color. You cannot use the names of colors such as the primary colors or secondary colors. You may not say blue, red, orange, green, and so forth. So your first clue that you're going to give is a one word clue. So for instance, if I chose B19 on the bottom here, I'm going to use the word magenta, which if you look at it, it's a pinkish reddish hue, very similar to magenta. You must use your vocabulary of advanced terms that describe colors. For instance, chartreuse or seafoam. The other players will take one of their cones and guess what color they think the person is trying to describe with that one word description. The second round, you choose a two word description of that color. It's time for scoring. Take your square and you're gonna place the center of the square on the letter and number indicated here on the grid. So L12, L12, right here. And you're gonna place the center over L12. Now, green is not inside the square or adjacent to the square. Green receives zero points this round. Red has, a has one indicator inside the square and another indicator right outside the square and adjacent to it. So red receives one, two, three points this turn. And they would advance one, two, three points on the scoring track. The person giving the clue receives one point for each person inside the square. That is the end of that round. Then the next person would draw a card and so forth. The game is over once everyone has had two turns. Thank you so much and please like and subscribe and check out our website, adventurewaymd.com. We are a tabletop gaming retreat located in Frederick, Maryland. And this time, I think I will choose Dusty Sky. Now I'm going to give my two word clue. And my two word clue for this color is going oh, um, excuse me. On the second part of your turn, the player will give a two word description of the color and has placed their markers on the color board for those colors. Then you're going to find the color indicated by the letters and the numbers and you will place it in the center of your square. So B19 would be right here. Two. Hey, I want to introduce
introduce you to Nora.